Hey guys, it's Ryan back here again, and today we're reviewing Star Wars The Clone Wars, and this is Kit Fisto in cold weather gear. So this figure is currently out at Walmart and Toys R Us stores, but it has not shown up at Target yet, and the retail price on this figure is $7.99. So let's take a look at the packaging. As you can see, it's in the 2010 and 2011 blue and black packaging design. Got a really nice render picture of Kit Fisto in his cold weather gear on the right there, as well as the Star Wars The Clone Wars logo up on the top. And on the back of the packaging, we had the Galactic Card Game details. Also, some of the other figures from the wave, including Saucy's Tin, Self Operations Clone Trooper, Serapos, and Captain Rex with Jetpack. We have the Clone Wars Adventures details. And also up here, we have the details for the cold weather gear that's included. Have an actual product photo of Kit Fisto, as well as a photo of the comic that he appeared in with his cold weather gear. Uh, it says Clone Wars number 60, and there's also a Jedi Academy logo up on the top. And it says, Kit Fisto fights to free the snow-covered world of Korm from Separatist control and regain access to a valuable resource. Fisto and fellow Jedi Plo Koon fight to battle the droid army and a native warlord in League of the Separatists. Fisto wears crampons to move easily over the ice and goggles to protect his eyes from blinding snow. So, that is the packaging. So let's take a look at the accessories and packings that are included with this figure. Uh, the packings that you get is a card, a dice, as well as a stand. So that's your basic packings that you get with the Clone Wars figures nowadays. Uh, the accessories that the figure himself comes with. Uh, first off, you get his lightsaber, obviously. Uh, it does have a green hilt, which is accurate. Uh, well, a green blade that is not hilt. The hilt itself is actually silver, and it does have some... Uh, blue, not blue, uh, black and copper paint, deta paint detailing onto it, which just looks really nice actually. So you get his lightsaber right there. Uh, you also get these uh, removable snowshoes down here. And these are exactly the same as the ones that are included with the uh, Plo Koon and cold weather gear. So they're exactly the same thing, except this time around they're just in a different paint job. Um, so these are removable, and of course you get two of them. The one on the other shoe is also removable as well. Uh, it's pretty simple to attach it to the figure. Both of them just have pegs onto it, and you put it into the peg holes under the uh, feet of the figure. But you get those, and you also get these uh, goggles which are attached to his uh, uh, face there, actually. Uh, you can move these up and down if you want to. Fairly simple. Just up and down. And you can also remove them entirely if you want to do that. So you can just have his uh, plain face right there. Pretty easy to attach these as well. They just clip onto the side of the head, and that's all you have to do. Very simple and pretty cool accessory. So that is all the accessories that this figure has. Uh, for the most part, he's pretty much the same exact figure as the uh, Plo Koon and Cold Weather Gear, except for some slight differences. Uh, the comma, which is completely new, it's got these little puffs going around the edges all the way around, uh, so that's completely new to him. Uh, it also has these slits on the side, so you can easily move it back and forth where you can get the legs in different positions and whatnot. Uh, the forearms here, these are also new. They had these uh, little puffs also going around the wrists. That's for both sides. And the head sculpt, of course, is completely new because, you know, it's got to be Kit Fisto. It's got his little dreads coming down here, and they did a nice job sculpting these. And the paint job is really fantastic. you got those uh, blotches of green all over the place, which is just really cool. And, of course, you got the straps uh, keeping them all together, which just looks really fantastic. Um, the... F it's actual face sculpt, you know, it's not really doing it for me, it doesn't really look that right. I'm not sure why, it just doesn't really look too accurate to me for some reason. Uh, this little uh, hoodie right here that's in front of it is actually sculpted onto the head itself, so that is a little bit disappointing, uh, but, you know, oh well. Uh, so that is what's unique with this figure. He also has uh, the little Republic, well actually the Jedi Academy logo on his chest right there. Of course, the whole entire torso is sporting the cold weather gear as well. Uh, his lower legs got these really nice straps, same exact ones that are included with the uh, Plo Koon and cold weather gear. And that's pretty much all that's unique with him. Paint job, really nice. I like the purple that they added onto his um, uh, clothing here. Really blends in with his uh, skin color, actually, so that's pretty neat. And uh, articulation, so he has a ball jointed head, but it is very, very limited because of how the uh, little hoodie right here is sculpted onto the head. So uh, that's a little bit disappointing, but you know, oh well. Uh, he also has uh, these uh, ball hinged uh, shoulders here, but those are also really limited as well because of the um, how they sculpted the shoulders right here with the bulky clothing. So it can't really be removed that much at all, so that is disappointing as well. But he does have ball hinged uh, elbows here, 
It's got swivel wrists, uh, swivel waist, swivel hips, and ball hinged knees. Unfortunately, he does not have any ankle articulation either, so, so far I'm really disappointed with the articulation, so that is a disappointment. But for the most part, I really do like this figure, and it is nice to get another counterpart uh, for the um, Plo Koon and Cold Weather Gear, so you can pretty much have both of them at the same exact time. Uh, so you get that, you get all of his accessories and the packings, of course. Would I recommend picking up this figure? That's really up to you. The only reason I picked him up is because I'm a completist for all the Clone Wars figures um, and Jedi in general, so I was kind of much, pretty much forced to buy it, but uh, would I pick it up if I was not a completist? Probably not. You know, it's just really not that of an exciting figure. It's a little bit blah, and it's pretty much exactly like the uh, Plokin and Cold Weather Gear except for some slight differences but the articulation is disappointing so for the most part I would not recommend this figure uh, but that's up to you if you really want to buy the Jedi's or not uh, this is the third Plokin I mean third Kit Fisto that we've seen so far so it's just really up to you if you want to buy another Kit Fisto or not uh, so anyways that's pretty much it hope you guys enjoy this review and I'll see you all in the next video